is Dr. Timothy Linescu with Lake Cumberland Rheumatology yeah, yeah. coming to you from uh, Georgia uh, on the way back to Kentucky from uh, Disney World. Crew in the back listening to Max and Ruby, beautiful wife over there. Um, so I was asked to do a video on undifferentiated connective tissue disease. Uh, essentially what undifferentiated connective tissue disease is, is, is you're a unclassifiable uh, person. You do not fulfill criteria for your classic diseases like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and the such. Essentially what happens is, is we'll have a patient who comes in who will have skin changes, which may be lupus-like and atypical rashes, along with migratory or joint pains that move around. It can be inflammatory in nature. You can have prolonged morning stiffness, and usually you'll uh, present to the office with a positive ANA. We'll do lots of other fancy tests that essentially come back negative and you'll have a person who has potentially some skin disease, maybe Raynaud's phenomena, which is when your fingers turn blue, uh, uh, inflammatory joint pains, and there's some other things that can happen. Some people can have uh, some interstitial lung disease or a, a few other manifestations. Um, and when you do the extra labs, they basically didn't add anything else or help you out anymore. So in this situation, we'll call people undifferentiated connective tissue disease. And essentially what this is, is this happens in about 25% of the patients who present as new patients to rheumatoid arthritis or rheumatology clinics. What we know is a few things. If you follow these people for five to 10 years, you basically find out that the, the majority of them do not progress into another disease, which is good news, because we can tell you what you're not and what you're not going to do, as in uh, progress to uh, kidney failures and lupus patients, or other things with erosive disease with rheumatoid arthritis. So uh, this can be kind of frustrating for patients because your doctor's telling you a disease that nobody else has heard of, you're not normal, but you don't have lupus or rheumatoid arthritis either. So um, what you need to understand is that this is not uncommon. Uh, this is something that is kind of uh, frustrating for a lot of patients. And I could see you know, myself going to a doctor and him giving me a kind of wishy-washy diagnosis. In reality though, it's not a wishy-washy diagnosis. It's a true thing. Some people call it uh, systemic rheumatoid disease or undifferentiated systemic rheumatoid disease. Uh, either way, um, when it comes to how can I help you best, it really depends on your symptoms. So if you have skin rashes or inflammatory joint complaints, we'll utilize the most safe medicine uh, that we have, which can also uh, treat, an un uh, treat an underlying uh, autoimmune disease. And, and for us at, at Lake Cumberland Rheumatology, that's Plaquenil or hydroxychloroquine. Uh, in addition, we'll use low-dose steroids or anti-inflammatory medicines. Now, if you progress and you have really have true large joint swellings and, and they're not uh, uh, improving with, uh, with something like Plaquenil, then your next step of action is something like methotrexate. Uh, there's increased toxicity associated with that, but also we've been using it for 30 years, so we know a lot about how to treat those uh, systemic diseases. You can see one of my other videos. So uh, in essence, uh, in undifferentiated connective tissue diseases, you are not alone. There are many, many of you out there. In fact, there's a lot of people who aren't diagnosed that have this. Uh, if you have any other questions about it, uh, give me a, uh, a comment in Facebook or Google Plus that I'm on now, and uh, Twitter if I can ever find my password for my account. Um, but uh, give us a like and uh, on our Facebook page, please, and uh, we'll do as much or as many videos as you want. Let me know which one you want me to do next. Say bye, guys. Bye. bye. It's been a long trip.